Hey there YouTube fam, it's William Cody with another installment of The Lost Ones. And I just got to give you an update of what's gone down in the last hour. And I have videos of it all that I'm going to upload. Um, as soon as I get to some internet Wi-Fi connection. But, so the dogs went, were going through the woods and Zuma alerted. She started yipping and yelping. And that usually means that... Um, She's located some bones. So we, I went through the uh, forest, the real dense, thick forest. Now we're here on uh, the Gila River that's dried up, and it's a, a dried up riverbed right now. So um, I, uh, the dogs alerted. Uh, we went in the woods, and that Zuma came out with what appears to be a human leg bone. Um, and then we looked around some more, and I found what appears to be human toes or fingers. Uh, I've been looking googling pictures and um, sorry here comes the wind but I've been googling pictures and I can't discount it and say it's an animal I don't know what animal has bones like this um, this is a bone I cannot uh, determine what it is it's semi fresh um, and here's the leg and feet bones so I'm pretty sure that is a human leg bone. And then these are toes, part of the f human foot bone. That's the foot, and then this is the toe. So I could be wrong, but I don't know. I'm just thinking in this country, what... Uh, so anyway, with these bones, we GPS marked them and flagged them so we can go right back there. But um, I just want to make sure to get it to a bone specialist. So Daniel Robinson's father, David Robinson, knows has been sending bones to people so they know somebody. So I'm just waiting to hear back from him. It's Sunday. I imagine he's at church. Um, I've called him a few times, but I'm going to keep you updated about what goes on with this. Uh... I don't know, I'm just going through my mind trying to figure out what other animal has bones like these out here. Like a bear kind of would, but these there's no bears in this area. Uh, and man, I just, I'm looking at human leg bones and it looks just like a human leg bone. So maybe if you uh, web sleuths that anybody is good at bones, drop a comment down in the section. Uh, I sure would appreciate it. Give me a like and subscribe. I'm pretty sure that these are human bones. So uh, I'm just waiting to get a hold of David robinson and he's gonna um we're gonna figure out what they are so stay tuned for the next uh next part of this video where i come back and we confirm or deny but uh the way the dogs reacted and the way they look i'm pretty sure we got uh, actual human remains here so i'll give you one more look at them And uh, this is some tough country. I posted a video, uh, you know, about the animal remains that we found. There's all kinds of animal remains out here. Um, I mean, I found everything from goats to dogs, cows, um, ch uh, roosters, uh, goat horns. I mean, all kinds of really weird stuff. Uh, a lot of encampments, uh, immigrant encampments and stuff. And, uh, man, it's just this dark feeling place. It's got a dark energy around here. Um, I don't know if these are human remains, but hopefully we brought, we're going to be able to bring some closure to some family around here. Um, if they're not Daniels, um, fingers crossed, hopefully we can uh, bring some closure. But, uh, like I said, I don't want to jump the gun and I'm going to feel awful if they're not human bones because I, in my assessment, they are, but I could be wrong. So stay tuned for part two. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. The dogs are resting now. As you can see, Nipsey's underneath the tree over here. She looks like a lion in the Sahara Desert. What is it, Nips? You wanna say hi? Hey, Nips. So this is the kind of country we're working in. These are dried up river beds and little rivers and canals that dried up. And I imagine when it rains around here, it's just a massive flood. But uh, pretty shocking evidence. You know, this is only day two. It's actually the first day that we searched real hard. Yesterday we searched for a little while. They had a line search and we came over here 
and, and went through this a little while, but uh, the dogs weren't used to the heat. Believe it or not, it gets up to around 80 degrees around here during the day, <laughs> which is a blessing considering we came from the snow. But um, man, my finger, I, when I first saw the bones, my heart sank and I had that feeling, you know, like, oh, these are different. These are different from the animal remains that we've been seeing all over the place. So I really hope um, maybe you web sleuths <clears throat> can look around at pictures of bones but uh, and maybe help me out you can drop a comment what you think it is um, I sure would appreciate any type of help on this but uh, I just wanted to say stay tuned the next episode's coming up and uh, thanks for watching say bye nips <laughs>